first six months of 2013, uh, I would categorize the investment marketplace as, as, uh, as aggressive as it's ever been. The existence of the historic low interest rates, uh, coupled with a certain amount of skepticism across the equity markets, has created a uh, continued uh, demand for high quality commercial real estate. I'd categorize the first six months of 2013 as the return or the reemergence of the mega deal. Um, several large transactions have occurred across the Midwest uh, that have uh, demonstrated the appeal of the marketplace. Um, one of the larger transactions uh, that has occurred is a, a uh, Calster's first industrial joint venture, basically the winding up of this joint venture, and it was a 28 uh, asset industrial sale consisting of about 2.6 million square feet. It sold for $92 million uh, at an approximate 8.8 .8 cap to Hackman Capital, the California-based private equity group. Colliers International has been hired to maintain the property management on this account. Second large transaction that uh, of note is the actual selling of the Oryx portfolio. This was a 58 uh, asset nationwide portfolio. Of these 58 assets, 12 were in the Midwest, and nine of these assets were located on the eastern side of the Cleveland, Ohio submarket. This is commonly known as the Gotham King portfolio, and it was a note sale. It was about $135 million unpaid balance on this 897,000 square foot Class A office portfolio. Coming off a great Las Vegas ICSC meeting this past May, I think we saw more deal making activity than probably the last three years combined. Um, I think in general, most investors and lenders are probably more optimistic and it's allowing investors to get a bit more aggressive in coming back into the market, uh, probably more so than we've seen since 2007. Uh, a lot of that has to do with debt rates uh, compressing, which is allowing investors to get a lot more aggressive on pricing, which is advantageous to sellers. Credit and lease term continue to drive pricing in both the single tenant net lease space and the ground lease space where we're seeing uh, pricing at all time highs, which is exceptionally attractive to a lot of our sellers. Uh, in the anchored and unanchored strip center space, very similar story in that credit, lease term, well occupied centers are continuing to set extremely attractive pricing and we're continuing to see heavy demand. During the first half of 2013, we've seen approximately $130 million worth of shopping center sales in southwest Ohio. The most notable transaction was Kimco's sale of its Coleraine Town Center, a super Walmart regional center uh, that sold to Rubenstein Companies for approximately $30 million. We expect activity to increase significantly in the second half of 2013 as there are currently three grocery uh, Kroger Grocery Anchored Centers on the market. Uh, they include GDA's Prospect Square, Regency's Beckett Commons, uh, as well as the Shops of Hamilton, which is owned by a private investor out of New York. In addition, Phillips Edison is on the market with Bridgewater Falls, a 635,000 square foot power center in which they just completed their repositioning of the asset. We also expect to see uh, a couple of portfolio sales during the year. RG Properties is under contract on a 10 property portfolio of Shadow Walmart Anchored Centers. Uh, the portfolio consists of approximately 300,000 square feet and is located throughout Ohio, Indiana, and Michigan. Uh, Regency Centers in conjunction with uh, its JV partner is also under contract on a 7 property portfolio to uh, DDR. Uh, notable assets in southwest Ohio include Sycamore Plaza as well as Indian Springs. Uh, that portfolio is uh, valued at approximately $300 million and is set to close in August of 2013.